Hey, come on home. Please come on home. Hey, come on home. Won't you come on home? Well, here you are, somebody there. You're nobody at all. All these times have left the sea between us. It's called The Imagination, Inventing Ireland Through Words, Images and Songs. And tell us more, is the man himself, Rich McMahon. Hello, Rich. Hello, Carl. How you doing? I'm good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you. Rich, tell us about this, this, what it sounds like, a fascinating mixture of words and songs and images. What's it all about? Well, it's my attempt, uh, I, I guess, Carl, to make sense of what it means to be Irish today. Um, because uh, different people have different perceptions of what Ireland and Irishness is. Um, so I'm looking through, through song, spoken word and film footage. I, I try to explore what it's all about. How did this come to you? Obviously, tell us a bit, perhaps, first of all, about your own background. And then has that influenced this approach? Oh, that my background has hugely influenced the show. Because I, I kind of start out with the biographical side of it. Because, um, obviously, I've got an Irish accent, you can tell. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, was, I was born in Coventry in the 70s to Irish parents. Um, and then we moved to Ireland when I was 10. And then I came back to Birmingham in my 20s. Um, so I've always been just a little bit confused about yeah. my national identity. And, and what you've got there, you, you've grown up in Coventry, where, which had a big Irish population, yeah. still does, but then you go back to Ireland in a difficult decade because the troubles are on. Oh, you've yeah. probably got a, a more of an English accent at that time. Was that a problem for you? Uh, initially, it was a bit. Um, I mean, the teachers were very happy with me because I, I, I was you know, so nicely spoken coming from England and was able to pronounce all my THs yeah. and everything. Uh, but that didn't make me very popular with the, with the other kids. So, so I, 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 I guess the Coventry accent's very much a kind of a blank canvas compared yeah. to a lot of regional accents. So I, I did, yeah, gradually I lost the accent, I guess, to fit in. And, and it just it stuck, really. So I came back here to Birmingham a fully fledged Irish person, you know. So you've got this experience of almost a dual heritage. Yes, very much. And, and, and I'm very, I guess, if I'm allowed to be, I'm very proud of, of, of that dual heritage. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm proud of my Irish and my English roots. I think it's such an important point, and I think that that's becoming more more today, whereas perhaps in the 60s and 70s, you either had to be English or you had to be Irish, you had to be one or the other. We're not looking at it anyway more like that. It's about what we can be proud of everything that makes us a person. Oh, absolutely, and it's it's almost like we're all hyphens now. It's like the hyphen is the is the is signifier of race, really. Uh, you know, we're all something slash something else. Mm. You know, that something in between, and it's hard to unpick. I, uh, what what's what's Irish and, and what is influenced by English and other cultures? Yeah. I think increasingly in a, in a globalized world, I think it's very hard to unpick where the because we've got so many influences coming from so many places, so, in America and places like that. So, with such a difficult aspect to look at, which is identity, and everybody's got varying and differing identities, although there's overlapping identities. How can you bring that into a show to have a sense of coherence and a, a, that people can follow it through, Rich? Uh, what I do is I look back at the at history about um, the generations before me that emigrated to to England to work, um, and I, I sort of branch out from there. I look at the troubles. I look at because uh, in a way I see that that conflict between English identity and Irish identity being sort of played out quite dramatically in the north. So I, I, what I do is I start out with my own story, then branch out to sort of the story of Ireland, its history, emigration, look at the situation in the north, and also look at my experiences as, as being a musician here in England, singing Irish songs, and the kind of the experiences I've had doing that. And, and the, the songs will form a very large part of it because music is, is my profession, basically. So you're in quite safe hands. I, th I think, you know, there's a few gags in there and a few stories and um, some poems. And, yeah, I promise this will be a good night and, uh, you know, be a few laughs and hopefully people will find it informative and entertaining. And thought-provoking. And thought-provoking, yes. Rich, it's smashing to speak with you. Thank you very much, Carl. It's been a pleasure. Good luck, and I wish you every success. Thank you very much, and you're welcome to come, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rich. Okay. My own true love, when I return united we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me, but my darling, when I think of thee.